I've been trying to eat more healthily, so I chose a salad for lunch. That's good. What did you have for dinner? Well, for dinner I had a cheeseburger, but I added a piece of lettuce, so it's almost like a salad, isn't it? Ah, I get it. You turn your burger into a salad burger. You're doing well with your healthy eating goals. Hi, I'm Georgiana. Thanks for joining me for another episode of the podcast. My mission is to help you improve your fluency. Do you know how you can help me? You can support this podcast by sharing it with your friends and rating it with five stars. Have you ever thought about how to eat tasty and healthy food in a simple way? Today, I'm going to share easy tips for enjoying delicious, good-for-you meals. Grab a snack and let's get started. First, let's learn some simple aspects about food. Our bodies need carbs, proteins, fats. Vitamins and minerals. A quick tip: Imagine your plate is a rainbow. The more colors, the more good stuff you're eating. Next, let's fix some food mistakes. Mistake number one: Carbs are bad. I'm not against low-carb diets because I followed the keto diet for a while. However, I now include carbs from sources like whole grains, fruits, and vegetables, which can contribute to a healthier lifestyle. Have you heard of superfoods? They're foods that are really good for you, like berries, full of good stuff, and avocados with healthy fats. Add berries to your cereal or yogurt, and put avocados in salads or toast. Water is super important for our bodies. It helps us digest food, move nutrients around, and do lots more. I try to drink eight glasses daily, but remember, everyone is different. Here's a cool tip: carry a water bottle and add fruit slices for a tasty twist. And don't shy away from fats. Avocados, nuts, seeds, olives, and fatty fish are excellent sources of healthy fats that keep you satiated and support overall health. And how about snacks? Well, I don't recommend snacking between meals, but if you want to have a snack from time to time, go for snacks like nuts, seeds. Fruits or yogurt, and plan your snacks ahead, so you pick healthy ones when you're hungry. Another general tip is to practice mindful eating. Chew your food slowly, savor each bite, and watch how it makes you feel. It improves digestion, helps you enjoy your food more, and recognize when you're full. Lastly, paying attention to how much you eat can make a big difference. Remember, it's not about deprivation, but about enjoying various foods in the right amounts. Well, I hope you learned some helpful stuff today for eating healthier. Remember, it's all about variety, balance, and enjoying your food. And now let's continue with a mini story. I will tell a story by asking simple questions. I use this technique extensively in my premium courses, as it is highly effective. First, I say a phrase with information. Next, I ask some questions. After each question, there is a pause. It's your turn to answer. After each pause, I will give a correct answer. 
That's how I build a story. And if you want to improve your fluency much faster, check out my premium courses at speakenglishpodcast.com slash courses. There are several levels. Okay, let's start. Tom, a man from a busy town, decided to get healthier. Was Tom unhealthy? No, no. He wasn't unhealthy. He decided to get healthier. What did Tom decide to do? Become a doctor? No. Tom didn't decide to become a doctor. He decided to get healthier. Was Tom from a quiet village? No, no. He wasn't from a quiet village. He was from a busy town. Where was Tom from? Where? From a busy town. He was from a busy town, not a quiet village. Tom made a choice. He switched from pizzas and burgers to salads and smoothies. Who made a choice? Tom. Tom made a choice. His choice was to switch from pizzas and burgers to salads and smoothies. What did Tom switch from? Pizzas and burgers. He switched from pizzas and burgers to salads and smoothies. Initially, he struggled with kale smoothies and giant salads, but didn't give up. Did he like kale smoothies and giant salad at first? No. He didn't like them at first. He struggled with kale smoothies and giant salads. What did he struggle with? Kale smoothies and giant salads. He struggled with these initially. Did he give up? No, no. Despite the struggle, he didn't give up. Who faced challenges? Tom. He faced challenges. He struggled with kale smoothies and giant salads. What didn't he give up on? Kale smoothies and giant salads. One day, his attempt at making Beetroot Symphony became a kitchen disaster. Did he succeed in making Beetroot Symphony? No, no. He did not succeed. He failed. His attempt at making Beetroot Symphony became a kitchen disaster. What became a kitchen disaster? His attempt at making Beetroot Symphony. It became a kitchen disaster. When did this happen?
yesterday, no, no, this didn't happen yesterday, it happened one day, this kitchen disaster happened one day, what was the incident? The incident was his attempt at making Beetroot Symphony. It became a kitchen disaster. Who had a kitchen disaster? His mom? No, no. He did. He had a kitchen disaster when his attempt at making Beetroot Symphony failed. Through his challenges, Tom discovered that combining deliciousness and healthiness made meals enjoyable. Did Tom find meals unenjoyable? No. Through his challenges, he discovered that combining deliciousness and healthiness made meals enjoyable. Did Tom discover anything? Yes, he discovered how to make meals enjoyable. How did Tom make meals enjoyable? By combining deliciousness and healthiness. Who made a discovery? His dog? No, no, not his dog. Tom made a discovery through his challenges. What was Tom's realization? That combining deliciousness and healthiness made meals enjoyable. This was Tom's realization through his challenges. His journey inspired others in town to eat better, highlighting the joy and challenges of a flavorful, healthy, and humorous lifestyle. Did his journey inspire others? Yes, his journey did inspire others in town. Was his lifestyle only healthy and humorous? No, it was also flavorful. What made a difference? His journey. His journey made a difference in the town. Was it only about eating better? No. It was also about the joys and challenges of a flavorful, healthy, and humorous lifestyle. Well, this is the end of this short exercise. As you can see, answering many simple questions can improve your speaking, just like in a real-life conversation. Today, you've only seen a small example of how the question and answer technique works. Do you want to unlock this full potential? Get my premium courses at speakenglishpodcast.com slash courses. That's all for today. I'll be back next week. Bye-bye. Did you enjoy today's episode? Get the transcript now at speakenglishpodcast.com.